J'attends la panne au tournant Quand tout va bien, c'est inquiétant Les catastrophes sont sur mes talons Je suis un homme et rond Oh, quand très souvent je fais l'incendie Je mets de la poudre d'escorte Hello everybody, welcome to the Hacienda Rabbit here It's been a while, but uh, you know how it goes. Uh, Christmas, the holidays, life, work gets in the way. Uh, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. We did. We had our annual roast goose. It was absolutely fantastic, and Santa Claus definitely came and visited the house. So we're all happy. And um, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take a little different turn. You know that I'm not a big fan of sweets and desserts, but... Uh, I'm going to make a dessert this time around. It comes from uh, France. Clafouti. Clafouti. It is a uh, rustic French cherry tart is what it is. And uh, it's good stuff. So uh, let me go over the ingredient list here and I'll show you how it's made. Uh, what we got here is... Um, four ounces of butter we've got two three tablespoons of vanilla with one teaspoon of almond extract we've got four ounces of flour we got four ounces of demerara or raw sugar two eggs and two tablespoons of um, baking powder and of course the ingredient that we need for cherry tart are cherries obviously I cheated I didn't buy um, fresh cherries and pit them myself I just bought the frozen ones and thawed them out that's okay it's December you're not gonna find fresh cherries anywhere now let me tell you about how I ran across this recipe I was cruising around YouTube checking out cooking and I ran across this great cooking channel from a French chef his name is Michel Dumas and he's from France and all his videos are in French now I don't speak French but I certainly know how much about that much butter is and I know what two eggs are and so on and so forth so I can pretty much figure out what his recipes are plus I do know Spanish so French is fairly close I can figure out a lot of his words anyway this is his the video that I saw was a recipe from his grandmother uh, who was I guess from that region and made the uh, cherry tart and it just looked absolutely fantastic and my mouth started watering and I thought to myself I have got to make this I liked it so much that I went online and I ordered the pan that he used to cook it from our good friend Amazon.com. One click ordering, Amazon Prime, two day delivery. So there you go. So stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. Easy peasy to make and it looks delicious. Okay, in a bowl, we're gonna put the four ounces or one stick of softened butter and the four ounces of raw sugar and uh, we're going to combine these well and form a nice paste. So join me when I'm done. All right, so we got the sugar and the butter creamed nicely. Now we're going to add the four ounces of flour, two eggs, and the vanilla and almond extract. Now let's go ahead and cream that together and join me once I'm done. Very well, now that we got all this combined, it looks really nice. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add the baking powder and about one pound of cherries. Right, so what I've done is I've buttered and floured the um, pan. And let's go ahead and just jam the dough in there. And we're going to make it all fit. Okay, so there you have it. That's it. Let's go ahead and slap it into a 350 degree oven. Uh, I'm thinking for about 30, 45 minutes, I'll let you know. All right, so clearly I overestimated the amount of baking powder, uh, trying to translate the French recipe into English. And so you can see all the cakes spilled over the tart pan, but that's fine. Uh, we cooked it for a total of 45 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, we've let this baby cool half an hour. Now, um, okay, it should be cool enough. It's cool enough to handle. And, uh, you know, this portion should come down. Well, it's not, because there's a lot of dough still crusty on the edges. So let's try to break it off and see if we can get it down and split. Ah, there we go. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, let's get this transferred to a dish properly. All right, so now it's cooled. We've got it on a plate. Let's go ahead and cut a little wedge. You can see it's got a cake-like consistency. It's very nice. It's very light and fluffy. Uh, the only true weight of this is from the cherries themselves. Um, let's take a look at it. Looks really nice. I'll uh, take some close-up photographs here to show you. But let's uh, let's give it a try. Um, the cherries sunk to the bottom, of course. It's cakiness on the top. Oh my! Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness! The consistency of the cake is like a very fluffy pancake. The sweetness and the richness of the cherries has gone to the bottom. And my goodness, that with the almond extract and vanilla, what a beautiful flavor. Absolutely nice. And of course on the edge, due to my excess use of uh, um, baking powder, it's kind of crispy where it bled over the pan, but definitely nice. Oh yeah, this was a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, absolutely perfect. Thanks for watching people. I do appreciate you. You guys have a great new year. Bye bye.